What's up, everybody? Marty here. Welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Tech. So the pack is now available on the Twitch launcher. You can just go and search up Nostalgia Tech, and it should show up, and you can download it and play it. And it is currently updated to the current version that I'm playing right at this very moment. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's up there. It's pretty cool. It's my first pack that I've ever had on the Curse Launcher, so I'm kind of excited for it. Um, it's simple, though. <laughs> it's a very simple pack. But anyway, I've got some stuff going on here. And uh, let's see. Oh, that belt needs to get charged. So let's plunk that in, in there. And uh, what we're going to do today is work on a forestry farm, the multi-block farm, the multi-farm, I think they're called. And we're going to do a little bit of power conversion because the multi-farm does not run off of EU. And EU is the power that we are creating. So let's switch that over to RF and then we can run the farm. But I've got it started out here. Here, we're going we're gonna to sleep. I'm going to make sure there's no bad guys out there because I got this thing kind of started. I got the, the blueprint for it set up. Haven't crafted any of the machine or well, any of the uh, the things that we need to craft for it. But it's 15 by 15 and you go out six from the, the center, basically. Not the center. Well, seven from the center. Leave a three by three area open and then it's six. So it's 15 by 15 and then it's a little diamond shape. So that's what the farm's going to look like. So we're going to go ahead and work on this thing and get it started and get it planted and get it making all kinds of wood so that we can f continue to fuel with charcoal our generators and stuff. So we're going to do a little bit of automation today. It's going to be fun. So I've been doing some mining and uh, we've got some things up in here all converting down into its, pro its, its ingots. And uh, also, in this chest, I've got some things. So I'm going to grab these things first, and we're going to create ourselves one of these bat packs that holds 60,000 EU. Because I've been noticing, when I go down mining, it seems like even the industrial belt with the diamond drill, the 40,000 EU, just goes by too quick. So I want to get this thing, this bat pack, going give us another 60,000 EU, then I can stay down mining for a long, long time. So it's going to be kind of cool. So while that thing charges, let's look back into this chest. I've got this, an electrical engine, and uh, I need a piece of wood. So we need to make some sticks. And then also I need to get some cobblestone. So let's make a lever. There we go. So we've got the lever. And then I've got a little area down below. <clears throat> where I just ran some wire off this bat box going into this thing and we're going to place that right there with the lever right there. So that thing, that electrical engine, let's go engine right there is made with a bunch of tin, glass, piston, and then tin gears. So it should be pretty easy to get into and uh, convert EU to RF. Uh, the next thing we're going to create is a thermionic fabricator thermionic fabricator all right we need this to make circuits and tubes for forestry so let's grab some gold let's grab this bronze i've cooked up some bronze we're going to take the bronze and make a sturdy casing we're going to take this glass oops we're going to take the glass we need some gold we need a chest i know there's a chest in here there it is and i think that's about it right so there we go, thermionic fabricator. All right, so we're going to put this guy <clears throat> right up here. All right, so it says RF. You can see it right there. It says RF, zero RF. So this thing runs off of RF. All right, now we need to connect this to that. These cables will not do it. I can't use these cables. They're not going to work. It's just, wait, maybe it will. Holy crap. Oh, no. <laughs> I, was, I got a little excited there. I was like, oh, man, that's a mod I can take out now. Nope, doesn't do it. All right, so anyway, we've got to create some cables or wires. So we're going to need some gold, some redstone, some stone, and we're going to type up wire, which is the electric wire, and we're going to do a few of these recipes. 
All right, the electric wire. These things are pretty cool. We can run them on this wall. And there, now it's connected. All right, now here's the cool thing. Boom, turn it on. You can see it lights up just to know that you've got power going through it. So now our thermionic fabricator is getting some power. Look at that, pretty fantastic, right? Look at how, look at how nice that is. All right, cool. Next thing we're gonna need to do is start making the farm stuff. So the farm blocks for forestry are made with copper, stone blocks, slabs, and tin electron tubes. The recipe for that, glass, tin, and redstone will get us those things. So tin, redstone, and glass. I've got it, perfect. All right, let's get like three of these in here. Let's get four of those in there. Let's get five of these in here. And this thing should start working to heat up. All right, there we go. I'm gonna only put 20 in here for now. Missing liquid resources, why? Because this needs to heat up into liquid glass to make these tubes. So once we get that done, there it goes. So we got 45, one, two, three, four. Oh, what are we missing? Some tin. All right, 24, 28. We need to get like two more recipes and we should be good. Uh-oh. Whew, that was close. I thought I was gonna be out of tin. And we're gonna need a bunch more tin too. All right, what's that? 32. And there we go. So we still got a little liquid glass left in there. I'm gonna clear out this recipe because it'll auto craft it. If you just put a bunch in there, then you'll end up with extra tin electron tubes. So now we can go back over here and make our farm blocks. Let's go in here and grab all that stuff. Let's go in here and grab stone blocks. So we need 36 of these. How about that? I had the exact amount of planks and copper just for that. All right, next up for making these things. We're gonna go here. We're gonna get a few of these gears here. So let's do that, that, that. Actually five. I need one more. Six is the magic number for the gears that we need to make. All right, so there's that, two, two, two. Okay, so six. Now we need to make these six into stone gears. Yeah. Yeah, trying to grab them all, you like double click and it'll grab them all, but. All right, so six of these are what we're gonna need. Okay, so let's see, what else? Trap door. I think we need glass. Oh yeah, okay, so we're gonna need to make a gearbox. Right here, three of those, with plus a farm block, farm block, we get the gearbox. Then we're gonna need to make a hatch with a trap door. And then we're gonna need to make a valve with two glass and a, and a gear. All right, so there's that, that, and that. Okay, so now we've got all the parts. 33 plus these. Okay, so let's go out and throw this thing down. It's daytime, we should be good. No mobs around, we're gonna put that like this we're gonna put another layer on top okay let's go down below now we go down in here and we're gonna do actually I'm gonna clear out a little bit of this oh I need some torches all right I'm gonna clear a little bit more of this out and I'll be right back all right Got some of it cleared out, got some torches down here. Let's finish building this thing. So what I wanna try is if we grab our gearbox, this is the thing that's gonna produce power or accept power rather. And we're gonna pump all this power in from over here. Let's go, let's make a little pathway. Yeah, right here. Actually, I kind of don't like that because it like leaves the hole right there open, but I don't 
know a better way right now. So let's keep this going this way. How about right here we start turning over? We might connect, if we're lucky. That's kind of it. All right, cool. So that'll work. One more would have been perfect. Let's do this. All right, so now we're going to be able to grab power from here. Just bring it down and over, or up and over. Probably... Actually, I don't need to do all of them. All right, yeah, we'll probably just run it, run it this way. On the ground, bing, bing, boom, on the wall. Get it right up to that connect there. And then we can finish building this. That can go there. We've got one more layer left. So this can go here, here, here. Let's get ourselves a farm valve right there. And let's get our hatch right there. And now we have a tree farm. So it says no power, it's hot and arid. We need water, soil goes left, seeds go right. All right, so this guy is constructed. Now we need to supply it with some infinite water source. So that one's gonna be relatively easy. So let's just uh, go our way up through here. There we go. So if we take this stuff, sticky resin, in a compressor, we're going to get pipe sealant. Compressors, super easy to make. Stone, machine block, electronic circuit. Let's whip one of those out right now. We need nine of these. And I think that's good. All right, so we'll get that. That. We'll get this. And I need some regular old cooked stone. I don't have any. How is how is that possible? I thought I had a bunch. Oh, I used it all for the the wires, which we're gonna need more. Wire. We need some more stone. <laughs> what am I thinking? I'm going crazy, guys. But anyway, we need six total stone. Oh good, it's done cooking all the glass. It's on to other things now. Macerating lead and tin. Oh, good. Yeah, it's, it's getting a lot of stuff done. All that I just made into sand. Actually, I'm going to throw another stack of cobblestone in here to make some more sand. Because I, I feel like I need sand. I don't know why, but I just want it. Give me all the sand. One more. One more, and then we can make our compressor. Okay, so compressor. Right here. Complete copper cable. Let's pop that out. Get that right there. Compressor. You're getting power. Let's take sticky resin. Compress that down. Let's get two of them just in case we need. So we're going to get some pipe sealant. We're going to make a wood pipe. We're going to make a gold pipe. And then we're going to pipe seal those. Just two of them, though. So one of these. One of these. And then we want to search up water. And this is from additional pipes. We need an iron gear and two redstone. Pretty simple. That. We need some stone. So gear. And now we need some iron. That, and now we need redstone. Okay, so we're good. So let's make the water pump pipe. And now we can head back down and start getting water for this thing. Free water. It's not really an expensive recipe, but it works. All right, so if we get this was the valve right there. Let's block this off because all we need is one bucket of water in there. Starts filling up and it fills it up really quick. So that's done. Water, check. Got it done. Let's go back this way. 
Next up, we're going to need to get a bunch of dirt, a bunch of saplings. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the saplings I can find. We're going to go oak saplings, though. All right, oak saplings, dirt. We need appetite. Let's grab like that. We need sand. So if we take that and that and put the appetite in the middle, we get that. So I'm going to grab one stack of that. And that we can put back away. That we can put up there. So we're going to get it, all the stuff we need except for power because we're waiting on some stone to cook so I can make some more wires. So here's how this goes. Dirt goes up in there. Saplings go in there. Fertilizer goes right there. We've got water, fertilizer, dirt, saplings, and no power. So now it's time for some power. Let's see if we can make some more of these electric wires. Should be good. All right. Wire. Wireless charger. Oh, nice. All right. Uh, I'm not sure how many we're going to need. I don't want to use, like, all of my material up. So let's start bringing this stuff. Right along. Ooh. We gotta clear out a little more. There we go. It's getting power. Let's run up and take a look. Ugh. It's planting all the stuff. So it takes the dirt, uses the appetite and water, turns it into hummus, hummus, humus, plants that, and then the oaks will grow on that stuff. So now we can sit and wait. However, what we're going to do is try to speed things up just a little bit so we can start getting a few things done. Let's go here. We'll make some bone meal. And we can still bone meal these. And it should start chopping some down. Oh. oh, actually, that is a good idea. So why are you not chopping down, buddy? Hmm. There it goes. All right. Chopped it down. It puts it in there. Now it needs to do something with it. So we're going to have to go ahead and do some other things. Now, I want to try something here. No, that's not going to work. We need to sort it. I was I was thinking about using the quark pipes right here, the item item pipes from quark, but I don't think there's a great way to sort these things. So instead, we're going to have to sac sacrifice clay. We got some clay. And do two of these two recipes we're going to make all build craft pipes so clay pipe done got that and i'm going to grab all the pipes together and i'll be right back all right guys i've got a bunch of different pipes made and uh i've got some barrels as well i have got the redstone engine so we are going to get this thing all ready to do some crazy sorting so what we need to do is the hatch right here this is where everything comes out and then everything goes back in where it's needed so we're gonna pump stuff out from let's say the bottom and then the clay pipe this is the one that what it does is if there's room in the inventory then whatever's going through the pipe will go into the inventory if it can't go into the inventory then what it does is it will come out and go elsewhere so we're gonna have this go elsewhere and we're going to just go ahead and bring everything straight in. Usually what I do is make a like a self-sustaining system. And uh, this time I'm not going to do that because I don't really need to. But you know what we're going to do is change this. 
and we're going to put the farm block here and then the hatch right there and we're going to change all this a little bit so there we go we'll make this a little one less one less piece of one less pipe going somewhere all right so we got that we're going to speed things up a little bit with a gold pipe i'm going to do our clay insert pipe and then we'll start running a bunch of uh these stone pipes this way we'll put another three of them there i'm going to put two of these here there we go so we'll keep keep it max speed and we're going to come over and I'll just do the, oops, we'll just do this one up and then back this way into all the stuff. Ooh, look at that. That's not good. Let's move that there. All right, cool. I'll craft a few more of the stone pipes. Um, let's see, stone, stone, stone. We're going to grab some more stone. we got to do more stone. There we go. All right. And probably some more gold pipes, too. There's that. And, oh, man, I am running low on gold. I made this gold chest just in case. All right, so we should be good here. Let's head down. Oh, wait, these should be gold. Because three pipes will give you, like, the maximum speed that they'll go. All right, um, where should we have our storage, though? Where's a good place for storage? How about we do storage, like, back over here? We'll dig a little bit of this out, we'll move the bed, and have, like, this a whole bunch of different barrels and stuff that we might need. Barrels and chests and stuff. So that'll be kind of cool. Um, we'll have to pop this out behind here. This will be where all the sorting happens. That'll be where all the business t happens there. Go down here. I'm bound to hit something somewhere. There we go. Let's go up one more. Keep everything on the same level. Make it nice and easy. All right, cool. So I'll just slap these down on the bottom. And we'll put a torch down here. All right, so we're going to run everything up on the back side here. So we'll go to right there, down, down. Actually, we're up a little higher, right? Yeah. Let's turn that corner, put three more of those. That way I have an escape route here. Oops. All right, so we'll go. There we go. All right, so now that's doing that. Oh crap, that wasn't good. Here, let's let's put those things out and put those back. Um, there's got to be a better way. How can I get through here? How about I got some more of those, right? Electric wires. All right, we're gonna run our wires then. All right, the more I screwed around with that damn wire, the worse it looked. <laughs> So, we're just going to go ahead and get our things up here. Alright, so we're going to do like clay insert pipes. One, two, three. Oh, you know what else we need is pipe plugs. Let's make some of those. So we want to get, I think it's just a couple gravel, maybe a couple cobblestone and see, let's see, get that. And then that. Yeah, so we got the cobblestone structure pipes. Let's just make that. We get 32 of these pipe plugs. So everything's going to come up. Go like that up into there then down and then back over and we should be good so right here we're gonna put an oak barrel right there one right there one right there one right there one and did I have it facing the right direction so let's see as things come in it should start filling that up It should start filling that up. All 
All right, here comes some wood. Let's see if it just goes right into it or what it does. All right, so the wood's going into that. That's good. I'll put whatever I had in my inventory as well. All right. So now there should be hopefully some more stuff coming soon. All right, tree right there. Oh, this thing's getting nice and full. All right, so that's going down. I just see saplings and wood so far. Oh, there's some apples. Okay, apples, let's follow the apples. All right, since there's nothing in this one, apples should start going in that, right? As soon as I come through. Nope, apple couldn't go in there, so it went up there. All right, cool. So here, I can't open that, okay. So I'm just gonna, for now, just in case something crazy comes through that can't fit in a barrel, it'll go into this chest and just hold. All right, so now that we've got that, time to do some more stuff. All right, now we're gonna put a kink in the system here. So we're gonna, not instead of interrupting that right now, I'm gonna clear out a bit behind here, and we're gonna do an auto smelting. So let's get all this going here. We got, yeah, like five should be good. All right, so that's that. So let's go one, two, three, four. So we've got the smelting system all set up now. So here's what happens. Wood comes through, tries to go in. If it can't go in, it's gonna move to the next one. Once this gets completely filled, it's going to shoot down this way and then go up to all these wooden barrels. All right, so I've got all of these diamond pipes, which these are the filtered pipes, and they are going to sort the oak wood. So if the oak wood can go down, it will. Since there's nothing in these, it's not it's not whitelisting anything, so everything can pass. So when we get apples and saplings through here, it doesn't really matter. All right, so that's going to come through here. It's going to cook up some wood, make charcoal, We've got our redstone engines and the wooden transport pipes on the bottom here. And why don't I just break these out so you guys can get a good view of everything. We've got a bunch of iron pipes here. And it pumps everything out. And the iron pipes are the directional pipes. They're going to point things in a certain direction. So I've got these all pointing to the right. And then this last one points up. So once again, we've got the clay transport pipes. And if it can fit the charcoal in, it will. If not, it's going to move on to the next one. And as you can see, this one is only at 43 charcoal. This one has zero, right? So it can't really, it's not filling that up yet. But we see that it's working because it's only got one of them filled up. So this guy is looking mighty, mighty full now, or empty. So let's grab some of this charcoal. Let's grab this charcoal. And let's get these things completely filled up. So that is going to go in there this one can start going in there so that's getting all filled up right so next thing that we want to do let's check up here that's still doing what it's doing okay we're getting some stuff not everything's going um all that wood that's down there it still hasn't filled up all of those things yet but we need to get this generator with some items so we're gonna have to put that in the mix as well all right, guys, I've done some streamlining here of the system. And all this is basically the same, except it doesn't go over this way and head back that way now. Instead, it goes up through here, hits this iron transport pipe. Everything shoots that way, including the stuff that comes out of the back of the furnaces, goes up and over. And then it hits this diamond transport pipe. If oak wood comes through, it shoots out the yellow side, comes down, tries to go in, tries to go in, tries to go in, tries to go in. It doesn't do it comes back over this way, hits this iron transport pipe, make sure it all gets shot, shot that way. So same thing with the coal. It'll go down and come around. All right, so now that we got that, I've got another diamond transport pipe with, ch with charcoal marked, and charcoal is going to go this way to this generator, this generator, this generator, this generator, and this generator. So we've got five generators that can uh, take charcoal and make power, and each one of these I gave their own bat box. And now, all the power generation is down here. It generates, pops out, comes over here, hits the engine, 
and then our couple machines right here which this one I've got going with the compressed plant fiber so let's take I think it is uh, I moved everything in here because I was running out of space in these couple chests let's go that we take those right and make those so we've got 32 of these organic mesh now we need to get some bone so we'll take the bone put it in there and now we get four of those so the bio balls the uses of the bio ball in the compressor will get the bio. okay so that okay so basically what it's going to do is two stacks of the plant matter or the this stuff the plant balls will get us a diamond sweet so we're gonna we're gonna get that diamond and here's the great thing about it too is we don't need to get leaves or anything anymore let's just take stacks I got eight of them eight stacks look at this we go here 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 I had exactly eight inventory slots left over it looked like so that should get us two stacks of those now I can finish that up get that in there and how many stacks do I have left two I've got two stacks so that's gonna fill up pretty quickly and that's gonna get us some diamonds all right guys we're finishing up on the very last bio ball to make the compressed bio ball let's take this thing and we need a piece of I guess charcoal will work but since coals right there we'll just do it coal right there we get a bio chunk let's cook this thing up once this is done we'll put it in the compressor cold chunk compress that and then my friends we're gonna have ourselves a diamond Ooh. bio cell bio cell fuel just looking at stuff <laughs> there's so much stuff bio fiber oh that's kind of cool see all right here we go and industrial industrial diamond oh um it should be the same there's 28 recipes there of that there's 55 so there's not as much stuff we can use it with but let's see if it all we make a block of diamond and get diamonds back all right sweet so that's a way to turn it into a regular diamond so uh yeah we've got the industrial diamond so we've done quite a bit we've got the farm set up today we're making wood we're making charcoal we're making saplings and apples and can i do anything with apples can i do anything crazy with apples Nah, not really but we can use that later for some fuel um but yeah we're making all kinds of stuff i've got some more power generation going a little bit more and it's all automated i don't even have to think about filling that, that stuff up so we've got five generators that this thing's keeping going and it's still pumping out a ton of charcoal and a ton of wood so we're good we're making diamonds so coming in the future episodes we're going to get some framework down for some rail craft we're going to do like coke ovens and we're going to make steel and then we're going to start with some locomotives because my plan is to not instantly teleport items from point a to point b what we're going to do is do rails and send trains out to go do that kind of stuff so it's going to be kind of cool and the reason i want the diamonds is so that we can make a quarry so we've got a bunch of cool stuff coming up soon and that's going to wrap it up for today i hope you guys enjoyed the episode my name's marty signing out peace